Hello, hello, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ellen, and this is my booktube newbie tag. Why do you leave me lonely when you know I'm bad at being alone? So I just want to start this off with a little disclaimer. I am a lover of books, but I'm also an author. So this channel is going to encapsulate both of those sides of me. So my booktube videos will be separate from my authortube videos. I will be launching one of each every week. So there will be two videos a week. This video, however, is my booktube newbie tag. And let's get into it. Question number one, why did you start this channel? Originally I started this channel to connect with my readers and then I wanted to help other authors avoid some of the same mistakes that I made in in the publishing of my two books, my first two books, but, and book three is coming soon, uh, but then I discovered booktube and My, my mind, it, it was blown. Like, I just, I have loved books all of my life and, discover, and to discover people on YouTube who love books as much as I do, it just, it, it was a dream come true for me. So I wish this kind of thing had been available when I was younger, but it is what it is and I'm embracing it now. <laughs> Question number two, what is something fun and unique that you bring to YouTube or booktube. Um, fun and unique. I don't know if it's fun and unique, but I, like I said, I am an author. I'm also a screenwriter. So I guess I can bring a different kind of perspective. And I know there are likely other authors and screenwriters on booktube, but everyone thinks differently. So maybe I can still bring a bit of a unique perspective to booktube, I hope. Question number three. What are you most excited about for this channel? Connecting with other readers, whether it's my readers or or just book lovers in general. I just, uh, I'm really excited about that. Question number four. Why do you love reading? Um, that's actually a very short answer. I love reading because every book is an escape from the real world. And especially over the past year or so, life in general. You just sometimes need an escape and that's what books provide for me. Question number five, what book or series got you into reading? <sighs> I'm not sure which came first, Hardy Boys or Chronicles of Narnia, but those two series were, uh, were very integral in my book reading journey. I still read them to this day. I have like a half a shelf here of Hardy Boys books and um, my Chronicles of Narnia books are actually back home in Nova Scotia but I do have them as audiobooks. Um, I'm currently trying to build up my book collection again through physical books and ebooks and audiobooks but I really can't wait to get back home to Nova Scotia and be able to dig out my boxes and boxes of books. I hope they're still okay. Books are okay in boxes, right? As long as they don't get wet, I hope. Question number six. What question would you ask your favorite booktubers? How do you do it? How do you stay so energetic and engaging in video after video after video? I feel like I would have to drink like five full pots of coffee just to be half as engaging as you guys are. So any tips you might have, feel free to comment down below because I, I have no idea how to do that. Question number seven. What challenges do you think in starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? Being engaging. Like I, I, I am an introvert at heart. There are times when I, when I know someone really well that I'm kind of crazy and my sense of humor is off the wall. I guess maybe with experience it will come, but I want to be engaging on my YouTube channel. My last video that I did, I was kind of trying the relaxed approach and I was sitting back in my chair, but I, 
I bored even myself when I was watching it. So, yeah. Anyone who dropped off after the first couple minutes of that video, I don't blame you. That's what I, that's going to be my hardest hurdle to overcome is being engaging and energetic on camera. Question number eight, when did you start reading? When I was really little, my mother read books to my sister and I all the time. But in terms of reading for myself, that would be grade one. My, uh, my grade one teacher, Mrs. Fougier, just instilled in me such a, a ravenous love for reading. Ravenous, that sounds weird. But anyway, um, just I fell in love with books. I don't know if they have this now, but back when I was in elementary school, they had readers, is what they were called for each grade. So they had these books, textbooks, I guess, is what they looked like, but they had stories in them that were suitable for re different reading levels. So there was grade primary, grade one, grade two, grade three, all the way up to grade six. That's what elementary school was back then. And she got me loving reading so much that by grade three, I was reading a grade six reader. Like I was just plowing through these books. Number nine, where do you read? I read either here in my office. A lot of times when I'm filming from my desk, you'll see um, an Ikea chair behind me next to my bookcase. I love to read there. I can just stretch out and my cat eats on the table next to me so I can pet him while I'm reading. Uh, also, I read in my bedroom. So those are the two main places. Sometimes down on the porch, but um, yeah, those are the main places that I read. Let's see, number 10, what kind of books do you like to read? That is mostly suspense thriller books. I am trying to branch out into um, romantic comedy type books, fantasy. I loved fantasy when I was a kid. Chronicles of Narnia, I think were my first like fantasy books. Um, Sci-fi, I used to always read um, like Star Wars and uh, like the Star Wars companion books. Even some Dean Koontz books are, are they kind of delve into the fantastical and the sci-fi, like uh, the Moonlight Bay series, Fear Nothing and Seize the Night, um, but, and then Odd Thomas series as well, those are two of my favorite series by Dean Koontz. And even, even, um, Lightning by Dean Koontz is uh, about time travel, so sci-fi, but I love, I love a good thriller and suspense. And I guess, I guess that brings us to the end of it. That's the only questions I was able to find online. Um, I'm assuming there's probably a final question of who do you tag. I don't have anyone to tag really that are, that are newbies. All right, I'm going to tag Kaylee Ray because she is on YouTube. She's just not active on YouTube. And maybe this will get her active on YouTube. She's a fellow author and a fellow lover of books. So I'm hoping that she'll get active on YouTube and we can do buddy reads and things like that. But anyway, so yes, I tag Kaylee Ray and, or if, if you're a newbie and you want to do this video, consider yourself tagged. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe below. Don't forget to click that bell so that you get notified when I upload new videos. And yeah, have a great day. Stay happy, healthy, and safe. Bye-bye.